and uh, um, talking in general, what was your personal highlight since you discovered memory techniques? So it's not about just competitions or shows or I don't know, any, anything related to that. What was your personal highlight in your memory man career, if you can <laughs> any? Um, oh, it's, uh, it's difficult. Like, I, yeah, I don't know, like personally, uh, of course it was great just meeting all of you and all the other people competing and getting to know like this community. And I think that was a great thing that I, I didn't expect, but more memory wise, I think, um, like lately I have been, um, yeah, as you know, I've been just learning a lot of things, uh, just more f focus on the like learning part of, of memory techniques uh, for general knowledge and, and quiz shows and things like this. And uh, two years ago, just before the Pi record, I took part in um, like the uh, this TV show, uh, Smarter Than a Fifth Grader. Mm -hmm. Do you know it? Uh, we have something similar in German, yeah. It's, yeah. Uh, yeah. When you're asked like, things that you learn in school but mm -hmm. that most people have forgotten and uh, th I think that was a really great that was one of my greatest experiences because then I had for some time like learned a lot of things and then of course when I knew that I was taking part in the show I uh, really like borrowed lots of books from my old uh, schools and like read, memorized all of this wow. information it was it's also I think very nice to memorize this kind of it's quite clear facts and quite not so complicated as it becomes when you reach higher into university and, and high school. So, um, so it was a great experience just preparing for it. And I really felt that, yeah, I should be able to, to win this because it's, it's a lot, but it's still somehow, uh, it, it has a limit and, uh, with memory techniques, it felt possible to do it. And then I went there and I was able to answer all of the questions and to win that and, yeah, I think that was, uh, cool. it was really nice. Nice. And, uh, um, any, anything would you would say that was your low light in your memory career? Um, yeah, probably uh, like, um, right after the, uh, when I was in the, um, um, like when we were competing in uh, London the first time in 2013. First time, I think uh, you have to be in 2012. Time? You have to be in yeah. 2012. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, that's right. Yeah, the second time uh, when I w won the World Memory Championships for the first time. Uh, of course, that was really great. But yeah. then right uh, after that, I don't know if we've talked about this, but I, um, I think, uh, yeah, Ray or someone else of these, uh, like in the Tony Busan team, they arranged that I went to a TV show. Um, mm -hmm like some late show there uh, on British, like on BBC uh, and it was after the competition and uh, uh, like of course I and, and I think this ceremony like it just it took a really long time because it was so it's many things <laughs> yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and um, so so in the end like finally when we everything was finished and I managed to go to this uh, TV show uh, like I was extremely tired of course and um, as I understood it it would only it would be like a like an interview, like, oh, you won the world memory championships. How, how, uh, yeah, what, uh, what can you tell me something about the techniques or something like this? Uh, but apparently it, it, like, it wasn't like that at all. But, uh, when I got there, they, uh, they told me that, uh, they wanted me to memorize uh, a list, like all of the, uh, the, like the end titles after the show, like all the people's in the, in the show. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. And uh, they, their expectations of it were <laughs> really uh, much too high that they thought that I could memorize the whole, I don't know how much it was, but like 50 <laughs> names uh, in a minute or something like this, like something that was really impossible. Yeah. Uh, and especially when I was so tired, but uh, even if I wouldn't be. So, uh, so I said, yeah, that I, uh, that, like I tried to tell them that I was really tired and that I just expected to have this interview, like to talk a little bit about it. And I, I really were not in shape to do something like this. But then they said that, yeah, that, like the, the only reason that I was there was to do this memory wow. <laughs> okay. thing. Uh, and I think today I would just have said that, yeah, okay, then I, then I'm, then I'll just leave or uh, yeah, that I, I won't do it. But at that point, I, <laughs> like I, I was a bit unsure and I felt that, oh, oh I, I have to do it and uh, I have to try to do it. 
uh, maybe it's possible to, <laughs> I, I don't know, some miraculous somehow. So I, I tried to memorize it and um, then uh, like I was going onto this couch and they said, yeah, congratulations, you won the World Mama Championships. And now you're going to show us that you memorized all of these names. <laughs> and I started to read it and it was like, I, I had sort of had memorized it, but I, it was very slow uh, finding them. And somehow I think like it felt like a really big mistake, yeah, like like a big fail that it really failed. And uh, yeah, then um, the um, yeah afterwards I just felt so bad and it felt so stupid that I it, it was really such a great uh, point when I had finally managed to win the World Memory Championships and I was wow. really happy. But then I <laughs> had done this and I felt that oh now the whole Britain will see this and feel that. The, <laughs> like it's just fake or yeah so i yeah. think that was really uh, like a low point in the middle of a high point wow this is really like a contrary thing on the same day so winning the championship and then having that wow um i think you told me that earlier at some point but not that detailed thanks for sharing that and this is sometimes how i feel about tv shows sometimes it's it's not about you or your skills sometimes it's just to have something to show to the audience and uh, nothing else matters and yeah. uh, and i mean back then you have been i don't know 22 so um and it's way harder than in this situation to say no i don't do that sorry guys i go home um but uh, and nowadays i think you would as you said you would do that differently uh, wow